What's good, y'all? YouTube, Patreon, uh, wherever this video lands. Um, I guess this video is going to be about um, what to do when you see an attractive guy or how to attract uh, more guys uh, to approach you, how to get more guys to approach you. Um, there's been a theme of uh, pretty consistent ideas in uh, my recent consultations. Uh, I've been getting calls from a lot of women who are having trouble uh, connecting with people, and most of them have put down online dating. They're tired of it. Like, I'm not doing that anymore, uh, right? They, they're they always really anti-online dating because of the experiences you have over time. There's just too many shitty people online. There's just too many people who don't want anything serious, and because online dating doesn't take any effort at all, every fuckboy is on online dating. Every guy Every guy who doesn't want anything, doesn't respect women, just looking for a hole to stick it in is on online dating. And he can present himself, you know, as anybody else who wants love. And it's frustrating to these women. I understand that. And so a lot of them have just sworn off online dating. After you get a certain amount of dick pictures or you get a certain amount of sexual propositions within the first four or five sentences that you share with a guy, it's just this is not worth it anymore. I completely get it. I understand. Um, and if you've been catfished a few times and uh, tricked into dates with people you thought you knew, you know, who you're dealing with, and it just it shit gets rough online. So I understand. Um, so a lot of them are telling me, well, you know, since I don't date online, I don't I don't really know anybody. Uh, you know, uh, many of them established adults usually go to work, maybe go to the grocery store and go home. Most established adults aren't the most busy, aren't the most socially active. Don't live the most colorful lives. We get into our routines. So, you know, I always tell these women, he's not going to climb through your window, okay? He's not going to bust into your living room like the Kool-Aid man. I'm like, I heard it was a beautiful, fine-ass, thick, fine-ass woman in here. Like, where's she at? You know, um, it just that's not how that works. I think that, um, you know, we have to be much more intentional about going outside and just being outside of our homes when we're an adult and we're hoping to date. Not like a full-time job or anything like that, but just realizing that, most uh, most of my clients' biggest issue is their inactivity. They are not in, in, uh, strategic or intentional about what they do. Um, they place no thought in, into uh, really any focused energy toward dating. And while, yes, dating should be natural, it should just happen, most of the time that's just not how life works. And fate is a neutral party. Fate doesn't give a damn if you find somebody. Fate isn't sending nobody to your damn window or to your damn uh front door to knock on the door and introduce himself. Uh, people always say, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. And then they sit on their ass. And so you know what's meant to be if you sit on your ass? Nothing. Nothing is meant to be. Fate doesn't give a damn about what happens with you. Um, you create fate with your efforts, right? Fate gets on your side when your efforts uh, are parallel with your goals. Uh, that's when fate is like, all right, let me throw you a bone. But fate ain't just going to do it for you. And when that happens, that's the exception, not the rule. So again, I just want to talk about, you know, how to get the most of when you're outside, when you're moving around, uh, when you're around guys. Um, waiting for the perfect guy to, to, to date you, to approach you is foolish because the idea of, of perfection exists in you, not in who observes you. You know what you want. You know what you're attracted to. You know what you're looking for. Waiting for a, a guy who meets all of those criteria to approach you first is kind of silly. There are too many factors at play. There are too many moving pieces for that type of guy to approach you. It's better for you to try to make connections with the guys that you have selected internally in your mind when you're out and about. The guys that you have noticed, it's better for you to create interactions with them through strategic communication than to wait for some perfect guy and see you, notice you, have the balls, be available, not married, not gay, not poor, you know, to approach you. So all that to say that if you want more guys to approach you, and you're not dating online, you need to make more connections with guys, and you need to be very strategic about when you see a guy, what you do, what you say, how you respond, how you react, okay? Um, so the first tip I want to give is that when a man walks up to you, or a man's around you, he doesn't even have to walk up to you. When a man's around you, and you know you think he's handsome, you think he's attractive, he looks like he's well put together, you're interested, you would hope that fate would send a man like this to talk to you. A lot of y'all get an opportunity, and you don't notice it. That man will look at you, he might smile, he might nod like this, um, he might even wave, but most people don't wave, but he, he'll acknowledge your humanity in some way, uh, but he's not doing that to everybody, right? Uh, you notice that he's acknowledged you, but he didn't acknowledge everybody that looked at him. He's not 
not met every damn body in the room. He's just he not at you. He might smile. He may even say hello. Um, too often, a man will open the circle of communication and a woman will close it. Um, and then she's like, he didn't say anything else. I don't know why he didn't try to talk to me. I thought he, he looked like he liked me. Well, he probably did, but he was waiting for a choosing signal. Okay. So when a guy talks to you, when a guy acknowledges you, when a guy smiles at you, when you see a guy looking at you, peering at you, staring at you from across the room, you have to give him something to work with because most guys don't assume that a woman wants to be approached. They just assume that a woman is being nice. Handsome guy says hello. Handsome guy nods. Handsome guy smiles and you know, does whatever he does to acknowledge you. Um, you need to use your voice to communicate that acknowledgement, right? Use your voice to tell a guy hi. Uh, use your voice to say hello. How are you? Use your voice to acknowledge his presence and also give him a signal that he's allowed to talk to you, that you're not just being nice, but you are welcoming his energy. OK, there's still a plausible deniability that you are being nice. But this is a better signal. This is a better choosing signal that he is OK to approach. He's OK to com communicate a little bit more to try to, you know, start something. Then when you just smile, most women, when they see a handsome guy, they smile, they look away or they don't smile. They just get a little bit nervous and they get a little bit shook and then they look away. Right. Instead of looking away, instead of freezing up, um, when a man speaks to you or, or acknowledges you, use your voice to say hi. When you do that, it tells that man that, you know, you're not just being nice. You are nice. Right. There's a difference. Most women are most people act nice, but they aren't nice. Most people, because of the social anxiety that we have, are just afraid of an awkward moment. So they smile, they nod or they acknowledge because it would look funny or it would look mean or it would look, make them look bad if they didn't. Most women are conflict avoidant and most men are, present a physical threat to women. So there's always this idea in a man's mind that, oh, she's probably just being nice. She doesn't really, really want to be bothered. You know, maybe I made her nervous. You know, um, no man wants to be the creep. No one wants to be no man wants to be the guy who made you nervous, the guy who made you feel threatened. We don't want to be the guy who encroached on your space and made you feel uncomfortable. And so a lot of times guys aren't necessarily afraid of women or even afraid of rejection. They just they're afraid of that moment where they become the threat that a woman is talking about when she says, I'm tired of men coming up to me. I'm tired of men bothering me. I'm tired of men. They don't get to. We don't want to be that either. And so, um, you know, men look for choosing signals. They look for signals that you are not only just acting nice, but you are nice and you are open to our energy. You are OK if we converse with you. You are OK if we approach you. It's safe to approach. With that said, again, when you make eye contact with a man, instead of just nodding or instead of just smiling like that or, or even giving a real smile, you know, show teeth if you can. If you like your teeth, show teeth if you if you smile at a man who's smiling at, back at you. But say hello. How are you? Hello, how are you? Is an open ended question. But he started it because he's already acknowledging you. He's already looking at you. This isn't you coming on to a man. All you said was, hello, how are you? But how are you is an open ended conversation. Right. That's what it has the potential for. Hello. How are you? It could be met with an I'm fine, which means, OK, he, he, maybe he just don't have the heart or maybe he's not available. You didn't flirt with him. You just say, how are you? He was looking you in the face. But how are you could also be. Well, I'm amazing. How are you? How's your day going? It's so beautiful out here, isn't it? What do you got going on? What's your name? How you doing? First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Rob. My name is Rick. My name is Bob. Whatever the fuck his name is. How are you can become a conversation. And so that's why you want to respond to a guy that you find handsome with an open-ended response, an open-ended verbal response. Don't close the circle of communication because it's too hard and it's too awkward to try to figure out how to respond to a woman when you say, hey, how are you, miss? And she says, I'm fine. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you don't know. You, you, what the hell do you do from there? Or if you say, hey, hi. And she says, hi. What do you do from there? Right. When you've selected a guy, when you think, OK, this is the type of guy I want to approach me. You have to be very strategic about how you interact with him. If you meet eyes. Hello. If he says hello. Hello. How are you today? Open ended comments will get you that conversation a lot of times. Most of you have been noticed by a guy that you would like. Most of you have been spoken to or acknowledged by a guy that you, you might like. Most most of you have been almost approached by a guy that you might have liked. But you either closed the conversation or your body language was closed or you did something that was an anti-choosing signal or you, you signaled that you were uncomfortable, that you were nervous. 
But men don't know if you're uncomfortable, if you're nervous, or if you're fearful, or if you're in a relationship, or if you don't want to be bothered, or if you're irritated. You are a stranger. We don't pick up on all these body language cues. You know you because you are you. You you know exactly how you respond. You know the difference between you being nervous or anxious or, or crushing on somebody versus you being irritated that a guy's looking at you that you think is disgusting. We don't know. Because these men don't know you, they don't know if you're nervous, if you're feeling butterflies, if you're a little bit taken back, if you're caught off guard by them being handsome or tall or, you know, masculine or whatever you're interested in, whatever interests you from, from them. They don't know that that's why you're moving away from them. They don't know that's that's why you're looking away. You're looking down. You're cutting the interaction short. They just assume that they've made you feel uncomfortable and that you don't want to be bothered. And so they leave you alone. In general, men internalize rejection when they get a closed ended response, when they try to say hi to a woman or when they speak to her or say hello or how are you or, or smile at her or peer at her from across the room. They're looking for choosing signals. They're looking for signals that they have a chance that they're allowed to approach. If you don't give a man that with an open ended response, most men won't approach. So if a guy looks at you and he nods at you, smile, show teeth if you can. If you think he's attractive, not every man, every man doesn't deserve, deserve your smile. So that's not what I'm saying. But if you like a guy, if you want a guy to approach you, show teeth when you smile. That shows that you're really interested in the interaction, but it doesn't tell him that you're on his nuts or anything like that. It, stop thinking that every time you acknowledge your humani the humanity of a man, that it looks like you're thirsty because that's not what the case is. Most men don't make those types of assumptions. Most people in general aren't so presumptuous that they would just assume that they got it like that. He's trying to be cool, but he's trying to show attraction. You smile at him, you show teeth, or you say, hello, how are you? There's nothing wrong with that. You didn't just approach him. You didn't just ask for his number. You didn't just ask him out. You didn't just chase him. All you did was acknowledge him in a bold way with confidence to tell him that he's welcome to speak to you. That's all you did. And again, there's a lot of plausible deniability that you were just being nice. And if you want to increase that plausible deniability, if you want to make sure that he doesn't think that, oh, you just like him or, oh, you're on his nuts or whatever the case may be. All you have to do is verbally acknowledge a few other people while you're talking to him so that he doesn't even know if now it's because he was special that he's having this interaction with you now. So if it does lead to a conversation and you do want to diffuse any ego that he might have gotten from you speaking verbally to him, then just speak to a few people as they walk by while you're speaking to him when the conversation forms. Now he doesn't know if you're just really nice, if you're just really polite to everybody, or if he was special. Plausible deniability. You wanted him to approach you, so you gave him a choosing signal. True enough, but he doesn't know that and can't prove it. How are you can turn into a conversation if he wants the conversation, if he's looking for the interaction. How are you can turn that into that. But when you just say hi to a man, sometimes he doesn't know how to respond, especially if he's already kind of smitten, if he's taken back by you. He's trying to be bold. He's trying to be brave, but he doesn't know what to say. And he doesn't know if you want it. Small talk starts with intentional gazes and open-ended comments. So if you want to be approached more by guys you think are handsome, you have to be more intentional about what you do and how you respond to men when you see them noticing you, especially when they speak to you directly, even if they try to nod and just play it cool. A woman doesn't owe her smile to every man or everybody, okay? But... If you're wanting to be approached, if you're looking to be encountered by a man that you think is good, that you find suitable, you have to speak, you have to smile, you have to at least acknowledge them to give them permission to do the gentlemanly thing and approach you or ask you out or ask you for your number or whatever. Most men will take the opportunity when it's given. But this white girl smile, no offense, <laughs> that, that don't get that don't do it. A man don't know what to do with that. Just nodding back. He don't know what to do with that. Now you have to reapproach and, and do it all over again to try to get an open ended response that gives you an end to a conversation. It's too hard. Most people can't make that adjustment. Also, a lot of times you'll see a guy noticing you and he might he might like have tension in his face. Uh, a lot of times men will accidentally mean mug a woman when he's attracted to her. It's because he's perceiving in that moment that she's not welcoming him. And he's reconciling with whatever feels like rejection at that time. So he's not mad in that moment, but you're you're watching the disappointment on his face and you're watching the, ah, oh, man, I don't have a chance. Like you're watching that. So sometimes you might see a guy like kind of frown at you and you'd be like, damn, what did I do to him? You didn't do anything. He's actually so attracted to you that he is, is kind of dealing with the rejection that he 
presumes is happening. And again, it's not necessarily a frown as much as it's just like tension in his face from being disappointed. So um, sometimes the interactions that you have with guys need to be a lot more strategic and intentional, especially if you're not going to go online dating and you're not the club hopping, uh, bar hopping type of person. You have to make the most out of every grocery store interaction, every bill paying errand, every shopping uh, trip or every gas station uh, fill up that you can to, to interact with the types of guys that you would find uh, selectable, that you will find good enough. Men that you find ugly, unattractive, undesirable, they're always going to find a way to approach. And that's because they have grown used to not getting choosing signals before they approach a woman. They're actually more well adapted to, to approaching women sometimes than even handsome men because they've learned not to look for choosing signals because they're probably not coming. <laughs> so they just approach women boldly. So if you see a man who appears to be a nice gentleman, uh, appears to be a, a good guy or is handsome or is tall or whatever you like, and he acknowledges you personally, then he's looking for an opportunity. He has to acknowledge you. He has to create that moment where he has that split second to see if you're open to his energy. And listen, even if you do this and a guy doesn't do anything, he doesn't approach you, he doesn't ask you for your number, he, he just he kind of closes it on his own, on his end. It doesn't even matter. You didn't come on to him. You didn't ask this man out. You didn't tell this man, damn, you're so handsome. I'm looking at your sweatpants. He didn't tell him anything. You still have plausible deniability. I was just being nice. So you're not being rejected. You don't know if that man's involved, just like he doesn't know if you're involved. He's married, just like you don't know if you're married. He's gay, just like you don't know if you're gay. You're just two strangers who had a pleasant interaction. If a man asks you how you are, don't say you're fine. Leave it open. Say, I'm great. I'm wonderful. How are you? It's a wonderful day, isn't it? Give him something to work with. Give him something to continue. Men in general know women have been through a lot. We know a million men have approached you. We know a few dozen men have likely disappointed you. We know one or two men have potentially even sexually assaulted or, or raped uh, you or somebody you know. We know the trauma and the danger that women face with men, especially strange men that they don't know. So men don't approach women anymore because on social media, there was some backlash. There's been a lot of backlash about men approaching women, assuming that they want to be talked to, approached and things of that nature. A few viral moments have, have uh, changed us as a culture. But also we know personally that men have done some bullshit to women that we all have to answer for in the way we handle those women after those events. When we meet or see a new woman, we don't assume that she hasn't been through shit. We assume that someone has gotten there before us and fucked it up pretty bad. So that creates a fear, that creates a trepidation in, in, in being confused for that type of guy, another one of those guys, or a danger or a threat in some way. When you are not threatened by a guy, you have to signal that. And most of the time, the best way to do that is by using your voice when a man acknowledges you. Your voice is powerful. Your voice uh, indicates intention to speak, intention to interact. If you do this when you haven't been doing this, if you're a woman who has just smiled, who has just looked away, who has just felt nervous, looked down, looked away, who has just kind of cut the moment off out of nervousness, out of anxiety. If you're a woman who's done that and you can train yourself to use your voice to look a man in his eyes, speak with him, but verbally notice him verbally, acknowledge him verbally and intentionally, you'll get approached twice as much as you'll get an approach now. Probably three or four times as much, to be honest. But when you see a fugly man that you don't want nothing to do with, look down, look away, do everything that you've been doing. All the closed off body language, continue doing that. But open your body language up and open your mouth when you see a man that's handsome to acknowledge him verbally, and it makes all the difference. Most women never get approached because they spend more time subtly rejecting men than inviting them. Because every one of a woman is nervous, anxious, or fearful body language cues looks like rejection. It doesn't look like you're so handsome, I'm hot, I'm bothered, I'm flustered, I'm nervous. That's not what it looks like. It looks like, man, I'm tired of these men. It looks like, I hope he doesn't come over here. It looks like, sir, stay over there. Please stay over there. It looks like, sir, I don't wanna be bothered today. It looks like, I can't believe he's looking at me. Ugh. It looks like disgust. Mm -hmm. Every time you averted your eyes very quickly, looked down at the floor, looked around a man's silhouette, and looked like you were telling him he wasn't good enough. Do not approach. So he did it. Too many of y'all been doing that for 20 plus years and wondering why men won't approach you. That's why. Even so, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, try this out and see if you don't get approached more by men. Thanks for being channel members and patrons. I appreciate you all. I'm going to try my best to keep this content coming. I'm going to probably feed this as much as I feed my YouTube channel. With that said, y'all have a good day. I'll get with y'all later.